Hey guys, it's Goldie Knox. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be blow drying my hair, which is super exciting because I haven't straightened my hair in like two years. So we're gonna do a little length check. Also, I'm gonna be using Verb hair products. They reached out to me about trying their products and I just wanted to see if they worked on like kinky curly hair types. So we're gonna find that out. If you wanna see me straighten my hair, then keep watching. <laughs> All right, so I just washed and deconditioned my hair for a little bit just because I want it to be, you know, moist, not dry. We're not trying to break our hair off or anything. So the main thing that I'm worried about is the fact that I get my hair cut like curl by curl and I have a bunch of different textures in my hair. So once I blow it out, I don't really want it to be uneven, but you know, we're gonna figure it out as we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just get into blowing it out. I'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of this because I don't want to keep stopping and talking. So. so the first thing that I'm doing is just sectioning off my hair. Then I'm going to spray the section with water and detangle it with my Denman brush. This just ensures that I get any tangles out of my hair and make sure that the blow drying process is easier. The first product that I'm using is the Verb Ghost Prep, which moisturizes, controls frizz, and works as a heat protectant. I'm coating my strands with it from root to tip, and then I'm just raking it through all of my hair. Next, I'm using the Verb Ghost Oil, which will seal in the moisture, add an extra layer of heat protectant, and also add some shine. I really want to highlight how affordable these products are. No matter the item, everything in the Verb line is only $16, which is great. For the actual blow drying process, I'm using a blow dryer with a comb attachment just because I think that gives me more control than using a blow dryer and a brush. Um, you can find a comb attachment in basically any sort of beauty supply store. Comb attachments also tend to fit on every blow dryer, so it's not like you need a specific kind to use it. To limit breakage, make sure you're not ripping the blow dryer through your ends. Focus mainly on the shaft of your hair initially, and you can work on straightening out the ends later. The Verb products do a great job of moisturizing my hair and making it easy to blow dry without weighing it down like a conditioner or something with that sort of consistency. Um, these products are formulated by stylists, so they are salon quality at an affordable price. But yeah, the Verb products, honestly, go get those. Always $16, that's super affordable. When I run my hand on the shaft of my hair, it feels moisturized. Even the ends 
which is amazing. Um, also, like this blowout has literally no damage. I use the same heat that I used to diffuse, so it's not direct heat on my hair, which, you know, means I'm not gonna get heat damage. I alternated between low and medium heat the whole time, so when I rinse my hair, the curls should pop back, but I will let you guys know how that turned out. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna length check. Okay. I feel like it's bra strap length. That's what I assume that I have just from pulling my hair. But yeah, this is two years worth of growth, you guys. I had a TWA. So yeah, just be patient. <laughs> and I really need to like learn how to end videos better because this is getting like a little redundant. Me just being like, but that's how we're gonna end this video again, guys. So, uh, you know, like this video if you liked it. Comment down what else you want to see. Check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.